A high impact action series gets a new leading man. The man with the real opinion lets us know what he thought of the transporter refueled. Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. When it comes to action films, one of my guilty pleasures is the Transporter series. Like many people, this was my first experience with the man, the myth, the legend, Jason Statham. Now we have what was supposed to be a new installment and the franchise changed into a reboot because Statham would not sign on again. I'll discuss why he didn't in a bit in an all new Did You Know. But first, let's talk about whether or not the transporter refueled is full of the promised high-octane action of its predecessor. Frank Martin, played by Ed Screen, does driving jobs and doesn't ask questions. When a criminal group hires him and changes the rules by kidnapping his father, Martin must go along with the group and help them on their mission to rob their now former bosses. Long story short, this reboot is a failure from the get-go. I felt that it took everything that made the original films good, like fun, great action, and even greater driving scenes, and chucked them right out the window. The plot of the movie is decent, but it needed a stronger lead, <clears throat> meaning this guy, to pull it off. Now for an all new Did You Know. Did you know that Jason Statham was offered the role in this movie and it was to be a sequel and not a reboot? The reason he didn't take it makes a lot of sense. In an interview with Vulture, he said, quote, It was obviously a great experience doing those films, and I would have loved to keep doing it. But they wanted me to sign on and do three more films without even seeing a script. And they offered me less money to do three than I'd get paid for one. So it was a business decision. I mean, how dare he make a smart decision in wanting to know what he was walking into and know what he's worth, right? So because of a studio wanting to skimp on the main thing that made the series work, we got this instead. I'm sorry, this is not the transporter. This is the transporter. Not the transporter. The transporter. Not sure about this guy because I haven't seen the TV show, but I'm sure that this isn't it. This is without a shadow of a doubt the only person that should ever play Frank Martin. Oh, and another fun did you know. Did you know that Ed Screen left Game of Thrones to take this role? Think about that for a bit. He left this. For this. Oh well, the new guy is better as Dario anyway. The transporter refueled is really a waste of time, which is unfortunate. Just watch the original three films instead. This reboot wasn't refueled. It barely began on fumes and ran out of gas way before it even got started. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Until next time.